Hello and welcome to Process Improvement Japan News, where each week we bring you updates on what's happening in the Japanese manufacturing industry. I'm Angela Corriero. My name is Kozo Sakano. Up today we have lots of news, especially from the Toyota world. First up is Toyota Industries Corporation, also known as Shoki, has developed an air car. And just this month, this air car that has an air engine, no gas, no electric, um, has now been able to ramp up to the speed of 129.3 kilometers per hour. Yeah. It's quite exciting. Yes. I wonder if they know about uh, Shoki, Toyota Industries Corporation. Mm. It's actually the original mother company of Toyota Motor Corporation. Uh, they founded it in 1926 to make uh, textile machines. And uh, one of the division, uh, that's more of vehicle division, uh, became independent mm -hmm. in 1933. And later they have become larger than the original company. Yeah, Toyota Motor, Cre uh, Toyota Motor Corporation has exceeded uh, Toyota uh, Industries Corporation. Right. Hmm. Uh, but Shoki, Toyota Industries Corporation, has made this very exciting vehicle and we will add a link to Process Improvement Japan's Japan News uh, pay web, web page for you to have a look at the photo. Mm, I understand they're going to apply for Guinness uh, World Record for, for their uh, velocity oh. of the vehicle mm. with the air, air car. Mm. Are they thinking to produce this vehicle in the future? Well, that I don't know. Ah, I see. So this is just a kind of a, a prototype of a project. Yeah, see, it's a good challenge for young engineers. Uh, this air car is called the uh, Kurin? Kurin. Kurin. K-U-R-I-N. All right, have a, do look, have a look, have a look at the photo. Uh, next up, Toyota launches into the mini market with its first mini car, the Pixus. Actually, they are going to use the Daihatsu's uh, uh, Move Conte, and uh, they are, they uh, use employ the system what they call OEM, which is which is. Actually, they used the Toyota brand, and uh, oh, so it's a Daihatsu car, but they're rebranding it into a Toyota car. Right. I see. And they began to sell on September 27th, and that is to meet the growing demand of a mini car market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, next up, Toyota will stop exporting Camry from Japan into the South Co into South Korea. What they're actually going to do is produce the Camry in America and export directly from there to South Korea. This is in response to the, the rising Japanese yen and... And the uh, FTA. Uh, the FTA between Korea and the US will be uh, put into practice soon. Mm -hmm. Lots of cost savings for mm -hmm. Toyota. There will be no tariffs between the two countries. Mm -hmm. A good Kaizen, perhaps. Yeah, I think so. Uh, next, Toyota's production has increased from 11.9% uh, increase from uh, last year to this year, uh, based on August figures. And I think this confirms that since the earthquake and the disaster, um, Toyota has recovered. That's right. Mm -hmm. Also, we see that same trend in other automakers. Mm -hmm. An overseas uh, market, mm -hmm. like uh, South Africa, EU and India, uh, they have witnessed the increase. Excellent, good news. Um, as of this weekend, Toyota's summer uh, energy saving schedule has now ended. Um, over the summer, since July, Toyota in Japan and other auto manufacturers have been on a Saturday to Wednesday schedule in an effort to even out uh, the energy usage throughout the country. Um, this has ended and now pr production will be from Monday to Friday unless there's a six day uh, work week which is sometimes requir required to uh, meet the demand. So that means today's Friday, yesterday was a holiday, today is also a holiday mm -hmm. and tomorrow and the day after tomorrow are also the holidays. So they have four nice. days holidays in the row. Nice, nice, a nice little present there for um, the auto manufacturing industry in Japan. Uh, lastly, something very exciting, Mitsubishi Electric is about to, to produce the world's fastest elevator. 
Yeah. It's going to soar to the 118th floor um, in 55 seconds. Yeah, in nice. Shanghai. In Shanghai. How they exciting. received an order for 106 units of elevators. Hmm. And the elevator is going to be two story. And uh, one elevator will go up to 101 floor. Uh, that's actually for the hotel. Mm -hmm. And it goes up to uh, 600 meters in uh, just one minute. Nice. nice. Uh, well, exciting news for Mitsubishi Electric as well. Uh, that's all for this week. Thank you for joining us. For more information, please log on to our website, www.processimprovementjapan.com. Thank you very much. Thank you.